G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Um, now we're going to learn about mixed materials. Uh, now mixed materials is something that's very crucial with uh, different types of texture images, whether it be glossy, specular, or diffuse. We won't be going into too much uh, detail within that since we still have to cover image-based texturing. But I'll just give you a quick, uh, simple rundown on how it is. First, let me just make a scene up since that was annoying me last tutorial, not having a floor. And let's get a few UV spheres. Um, I'll be supplying uh, more complex meshes. This one can be easily made. And that's a little bit of geometry in there too. Since we'll be whoops, since we'll be uh, using definitely be using the glossy, no, I mean the glass tool. And let's make about gloss um, diffuse glossy diffuse spec spec glossy. Okay, that's good. So let's start. So let's go into our rendered viewport. Good old sun sky. Now we're going to select our first um, our first UV sphere. Now we're going to do it into two parts. The first part will be doing it strictly in the panel area. Let me just get this down a bit. So this one will be diffuse glossy since that's the most basic one. Let's open our preview up so we can see our preview window. So let's go to diffuse BDRS and go to mix material. From mix material we now have these two options. We have amount material 1 and material 2. Material two. Uh, let's just see what's going on here, but we'll be working in here. So on material 1 we'll be applying a diffuse. As you can see it automatically adds to it. Uh, the next one will be on material 2 will be glossy. Now we can also expand these options as so, as so. Now let's go to our chosen material. I think it was this one. Yep. Now as you can see we now have a mixed material with both materials laid out. So what can we do? Well for starters we can change the colours. Sorry, we have to refresh the uh, uh, render viewport. Um, we can change the colors as such, just like in the normal, and we can also change the blending with the amount. The amount is something we could also add in, such as uh, fall off, dirt, but that'll be something we'll be going into later. Um, obviously, we can override as much as we want. Uh, such as transmission um, along with putting uh, subset scattering but like I said that it's a bit too advanced at this stage uh, with the uh, the few with the glossy um, put the index up a bit um, you can change the roughness specular as such with the normal the normal glossy material However, you are incorporating and merging both um, diffuse and spec, so you can make uh, certain rubber textures, certain different kinds of different kinds of rubberish sort of plastic materials. You can also incorporate different bumps. Don't worry how I'm doing the bumps, since another, that's another tutorial down the track. Uh, but you can also add different bump maps to different ones, or to the same if you want. So this is only being applied to the diffuse uh, material, um, and, but you could also apply it to the bump here. Um, so that is how you do a mixed material using diffusing glossy uh, strictly through the panels. The next one we'll be working within the graph editor. So how do you do in the graph editor? Well it's pretty like I said how much how it was last time. Uh, shift A, Octane uh, shader and go to mix material. 
that's in the octane shaders from there get rid of the gloss the uh, cycles material and plug that into the white ball next we'll be using a what's this one uh, diffuse spec all right so diffuse and spec whoops that's glossy spec now as you can see it is merging both the fuse properties and specular properties and with the amounts you can change it you can make some pretty wicked um, textures with this you can mimic some very sick full offs um, certain reflectivities uh, with the fuse and uh, just as always um, you can also change different uh, variations in both materials and create some sick looking textures for instance I'm just putting random stuff in and it's coming up with some pretty good marble lookish sort of abstract things sorry I need to test something out here because I'm now in the zone Sweet. So it's pretty cool stuff. Some pretty cool stuff you can do here. Well, not the fuse, I mean. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, now, what else is there? Uh, as. So, yeah, pretty much uh, that pretty much covers the. How to do the mixed materials within the node editor. Um, next is the specular and glossy. So, as you always, uh, Shift A, Octane Shader, specular, shader, glossy, Shift A, mix, connect those two up. and I think I accidentally did the ground whoops alright it looks somewhat the same as uh, the diffuse and specular but uh, specular and glossy um, so let's for instance go to the glossy and let's change the index up a bit put the reflection all the way up specular yeah let's give it a bit of a rainbow effects ish alright now let's go here always add some dispersion or you have to add dispersion go crazy on it uh, yeah, give it some abstract sort of look if you want so uh, this can be a something that's opposite in colors and with the medium absorbed just so I can have a bit more of a play around with it so and hey presto you have some very abstract looking material so that is the mixed material it's very powerful but very well, cool. Um, and you have a lot of control. Now, this is just using the bare basics of it. Um, you can use different. Uh, I probably would do some tutorials on how to make some abstract looking images with just lots and lots of nodes, mixed materials, texture mixing with image, um, spec, um, bump, normal, all that stuff. Uh, but this is the bare basics of mixed materials within the Blender Octane. So I hope you like it. Uh, next tutorial will be ge or not generators, image-based texturing, um, and that will be using diffuse, specular, and glossy and normal. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.